Today, I will show you something that is commonly used by civilian drivers but looks very different in racing. This is a refueling machine, which is specially used to refuel racing cars. There's a display here and it's not in liters but in kilograms, so it's a weight unit. There are two buttons here. One button is to add fuel to the car, and the other is to pump the fuel back into the machine. So this is a dual-channel refueling machine, which is also different from our civilian refueling. This machine is very safe. It is able to avoid static electricity, high fuel temperature, etc. Also, it is very convenient to use. It requires no input, all the fuel is already stored here. The reason we use kilograms as a unit is that we need to know the weight of the fuel added to the car so that we can better balance the weight of the vehicle. Then, we can accurately calculate how much fuel has been used during the race, and at the final inspection, how much fuel is needed to be recharged the vehicle. Next, let's fuel the car. The fuel tank of this car is in the front, it is an explosion-proof fuel tank wrapped with carbon fiber material. The refueling device is connected to the filling port of the fuel tank through these metal pipes, you can see that this yellow line is connected to the metal position of the car, which is used to remove static electricity. This setup allows us to be safer when fueling the car. Next, our technician will start the refueling process. Let's take a look at how the refueling machine works. First, we need to switch the knob to the on interior sign. At the same time, it will show the current amount of fuel in the tank. Let's fuel it up. Now the refueling machine is operating and you can see the real-time change of the fuel level through the display. In addition to safety, one of the advantages of the refueling machine is that the technician can also choose the amount of fuel according to the length of different races and the counterweight required by the vehicle. For example, after the practice session, we can pump out the remaining fuel to figure out how much fuel the car consumes for a 20-minute or 30-minute drive. In this way, when we are in the actual game, the amount of fuel will be controlled more accurately. That's all for today's episode. If you want to learn more about the technology of racing cars, let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.